What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade from iOS 10.2 back to 10.1.1 if you're anticipating a jailbreak. So let's go to settings, general, about, and as you can see right there, I'm on 10.2. So I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade back to 10.1.1. So the things you're going to need is basically you're going to need iTunes on the latest version and you're going to need this firmware right here so you're gonna go to this website links to this will be in the description and you're gonna choose your phone so as you can see we have all the phones right here the 5s the 6s the 7 and the 7 plus I have the 7 plus I said 7s plus I, I have the 7 plus right here and GSM if you're in another country other than the US it would be like a global so we got the 7 plus GSM and also the 7 GSM so if you're in the US and you're on the like T-Mobile or AT&T then you would be the GSM and then the other one would be global if you're anywhere else in the world it would be global so you want to click on your device and it will show you all, of the, all the firmwares that Apple is currently signing so as you can see 10.1.1 is being signed and also 10.1 but we want to downgrade to 10.1.1 from 10.2 so we're gonna click right here then you wanna hit download I, I already got it downloaded so I got it saved to my desktop right here so iPhone 7 plus 10.1.1 let's open up the phone and we're gonna basically open up iTunes Where's iTunes? And if you're on Windows, you want to hit Shift and then check for update. You want to hit Shift, check for update. If you're on Mac, you want to hit what's that? You want to hit Option and then check for update. And once you do that, it's going to prompt you to search for your firmware. And I have mine saved to my desktop, so this is it right here iPhone 7 so if you're on Windows you're gonna hit shift and then click check for update then you'll manually um, choose the firmware that you want to update to we won't, we're gonna do update because we don't want to lose any of our information if you do restore then you're gonna lose all your information then you have to redo everything if you hit shift update then everything will be saved on your device because it's basically the trick in your device that is updating when it's actually downgrading so after you select your 10.1.1 firmware you want to hit open and you see it says update you want to click update and as you can see it's doing this thing right up here extracting software and guys this could take several minutes this could take from 10 minutes to half an hour so just be patient and just let your phone sit there while everything is being done so basically now it's want us to enter our password our passcode then hit continue so if you guys want to turn off your passcode before the process starts you guys could also do that it says preparing your iPhone now it says waiting for your iPhone. So you should see the loading bar anytime now. So basically I'll come back after this is done because this is going to take a while okay so now basically we are almost there just shut off again now it should be booting back up there you go come on come on come on So we'll boot it back up, but you can see right up here, it says 10.1.1. Right up there it says 10.1.1, even though the phone hasn't rebooted all the way. But as you can see, 
10.1.1 right there. So put in our passcode. Let's go to settings. And go to general, about. And as you can see right there, guys, I'm on 10.1.1. So that's how you do it, guys. And if you're wondering why would you downgrade back to 10.1.1 is just in case there's a 10.1.1 jailbreak, then you'll be good. And also if there's a 10.2 jailbreak, all you would have to do is just update and then jailbreak. Because Luca Tedesco, I don't know if you've seen my previous video, but Luca Tedesco said we should stay on 10.1.1 just in case 10.2 is a little bit difficult to jailbreak. So just to be safe, if you're a jailbreaker, definitely stay on 10.1.1. If you are in 10.2 right now, as at the time at the time of this video, you can still downgrade ground downgrade back to 10.1.1 as I shown you. So yeah, there you go guys. It's Prince with ATP 101 showing you guys how to downgrade from 10.2 back to 10.1.1. Rate, comment, definitely subscribe for more videos like this. And peace. Thanks for watching.